Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sharing some pictures of the new LV denim collection with you and I'm already saying my thoughts about what the items are probably gonna be like. So if you're interested to know, then keep on watching. All right, you guys. So first of all, I wanted to shout out um, Foxy LV's Instagram because I actually got all of the pictures or almost all of the pictures from her. So if you're interested in any new launches, I would really highly recommend following her because she always posts the pictures before anyone else. I started following her today because I came across her channel for my research. So I just wanted to shout her out down below. Um, so if you're interested, go and follow her because she it probably takes a lot of effort to uh, post all of these pictures and to find them so I really appreciate it and let's begin so actually she posted a picture of all of the materials that are going to be available so first of all obviously we're all intrigued of the denim collection so there's going to be a very beautiful blue denim it's kind of washed out but still kind of radiant it's not as radiant as the denim collections before that I think there was one in 2007 that had a really dark blue denim and a really bright pink denim. This collection is more washed out so you have more of a pastel -y denim if you can say that. So you have the pastel -y blue denim, you have the pastel -y pink denim, you will also have a new vernie leather that is kind of pink like bubblegum pink with the uh, blue LV logos inside and then we're also going to have a different leather. Maybe it's on point, I'm not entirely sure sure that it's gonna be a creamy white with a black pattern on it. Yeah, so those are gonna be the materials for this new collection. It will launch on December 31st, 2021. So there's gonna be a little bit of time for you to get in touch with your SA. Every picture, I think every picture that I'm gonna share here from Foxy LV's Instagram account will also have the product code. So if you are um, intrigued to buy one of these items, then you can send over the product code to your SA and they might get a hold of it for you or they might be able to pre-order it. So I think you can get your hands on it quite like a lot easier because I feel like this collection is already really hyped in the luxury community and I feel like it's gonna be a huge success. So I think you gotta act quickly and already get in touch to uh, snap one of these items. So I'm gonna start off with my favorite item, which is definitely this micro mini pochette. I have my mini pochette right here. Um, so this is my mini pochette. I have just a regular uh, monogram mini pochette. So this micro mini pochette, I actually found a picture of it is supposed to be the size of the Rosalie wallet. I don't have the Rosalie wallet with me, but it's probably gonna be like maybe two thirds of this. So it's probably gonna end like here and be a little bit smaller right here as well. And I'm pretty sure this one is gonna be like an in-between piece between the clay, the uh, key clay pouch. I would show you, but I actually lost it in Istanbul. Shame on me, I'm really bummed about that, but that's not the uh, topic of this video. So it's gonna be in the pink denim and it will have this little clasp that you can find on the key pouch as well. Um, and it's not gonna have this chain right here. It's gonna be with gold hardware and it will also have this kind of leather tab right here with um, all the like Louis Vuitton Paris made in X whatever so it's gonna be quite smaller I think this will be the perfect piece to use either as a catch-all so we can hold some bobby pins hair ties maybe um, a sample of perfume and some hand sanitizer or you can use it as a mini wallet so um, you can put on in some cards and some cash and some receipts maybe and that'll be perfect for smaller bags so I'm really really hyped about that one she actually posted a picture with price information I don't know where she got it from so please don't quote me on that because I'm not sure but she will she said that it's gonna be 500 euros or 735 dollars and I think that's gonna be US dollars so uh, quite expensive for this little piece but I think it's really cute and since Louis Vuitton hasn't launched a denim collection since 
2007, I, I'm pretty sure. It's gonna be really, really highly sought after. So I think it's an amazing col like collector's piece, especially if you love mini pochettes and like little catch-alls from Louis Vuitton. I think this will be an awesome addition. I'm not sure if it's gonna be available in other materials or in the denim blue. I don't think it will be, but um, yeah, this is the first piece that I wanted to talk about. And the second piece I wanted to talk about is also in the pink collection. So those are the only pink items that I saw from Louis Vuitton, like from Louis Vuitton's denim collection. And it's this gorgeous Nano Speedy in the beautiful pink size. So I have my Nano Speedy right here. So this is gonna be the size. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a Nano Speedy in real life, but it's um, pretty similar size to the mini pochette, but it actually fits a lot. So my stepfather actually said like, oh my gosh, this bag doesn't hold anything, but it fits my six ring key holder. It fits my phone. It fits my Zoe wallet. It fits some lipsticks. It fits hand sanitizer, a mask. So everything basically that I need for an everyday kind of, um, yeah, just like errand running. This nano, Speedy will also have the Vachetta leather and it will um, have detachable straps, which is amazing <laughs> because I mean, for a lot of people, this is kind of like a bummer that the tap, like the strap is attached because it's pretty long and I guess it depends on how tall you are, but for some people it just sits on a weird height. So I feel like it's amazing that they made it a detachable so more people can wear it or you can also interchange it when you wanna to switch it up like switch up the look and things like that. So I think that is an amazing move. I have the price right here. It's supposed to be around 1,760 US dollars. So I'm guessing it will be around 1,200 euros, something around there, which is quite expensive. When I got my um, Nano Speedy, the canvas one, it was 810 euros last year in October. So I feel like that's, uh, I mean, it's a th like a third, no, it's half more the price, uh, which is quite a lot, especially because it's denim and not leather. But I feel like this is a really, like, really good collector's piece. I think it will uh, kind of be on, like, the same level as, like, the multicolor and things like that, because denim basically is never out of style. Like, everybody loves denim, and I feel like denim also goes with everything. Not so much the pink one, but more, like, the blue one. But I feel like denim is just a really, really good material to go for. And I feel like the blue denim is definitely gonna be the most popular, because it's just the easiest to style. And I I also feel like you don't have to worry about color transfer. You don't have to worry about it not matching because I feel like blue dem denim is a really, um, like it's just a staple in almost everybody's wardrobe. I feel like it just goes with everything. It's kind of like a canvas uh, that you can never go wrong with. So I'm gonna start out with the blue denim collection and I'm gonna start out with my favorite item of that, which is gonna be the Speedy. So there's gonna be a Speedy 25 in the blue denim. It will have gold hardware as well. So the whole collection will have gold hardware and it will have a leather trim in a dark blue. It, it's also gonna be a bandolier. So it will have a uh, crossbody strap that is quite thin. I don't really like the strap that much, but um, yeah, it's just a regular bandolier strap and yeah. I think the denim is really, really cute. It's gonna retail for 2,410 euros. I, I'm guessing it will be around like 1,600 euros around there. I only saw the 25. I'm quite bummed about that because I feel like they just came out with the 20 and it was such a hit. So I feel like maybe the 20 would have been a better choice, but I feel like the 25 is still an amazing bag and it's not too big for the denim. So I feel like if you're a speedy lover, this is kind of a must because a, I don't know, like a denim speedy, come on, it's it's so classic and it will look so cool. And I feel like even if it's like a little bit older and worn, it will look so vintage and so nice. So I think this is an amazing choice. There will also be a little tiny back charm that looks like a um, little speedy. I don't know how this like how big this is gonna be. I don't know like how to <laughs> wear it. If you can attach it, there is only like a really blurry picture. You will see it on the screen right now. I think, um, yeah, I don't know how cost effective this is gonna be, but this will retail for eight 
$120. So I've, I'm thinking probably like 450 euros or maybe like 500 euros as well, something around there. So I think I would rather get the micro pochette because I think this is a much more usable item, but also it will be like really cute if you get like the big speedy and then put this as a back charm. This would be so adorable, but obviously quite expensive. Then there will also be a little denim petit noe this will retail for 2570 euros the noe is quite a casual bag in itself so i feel like it fits really well with this kind of look and um, with this kind of material then there will also be an undergo tote for 2980 euros which i don't know like tell me what you think down below but i feel like already like the canvas on the go tote is quite casual and I much prefer the en prong leather one um, and I feel like kind of for this structured bag I don't know like I felt like the juxtaposition of this really casual material and the really structured bag but tell me your thoughts down below then there will also be kind of like a square bag um, I don't know what this is gonna be but it will be the same price as the petite noe then we will also have the petite mal in the denim and also in a different material it will be kind of also like a denim but it will be like a gray piping foxy lb said this is gonna be 5850 euros i've never been the huge like the biggest fan of the petite mal it's just not my style i guess and i feel like it's um very expensive obviously i know it's like a mini trunk and the louis vuitton is known for their trunks and things like that but i don't think this is something that i would be going for ever but i really like the strap because it has a really big thick strap like a guitar strap that looks really nice and you could also um, use it on different bags as well so i think it's quite cool but definitely not something that i would ever consider even if i had the funds i don't know if i would go for that one specifically then we have the croissant bag and i don't know like a lot of people uh, i feel like are really torn like either you love the croissant bag and are like a really huge fan of them or um, you hate it because you feel like it looks too much like Bottega Gavanetta and it's too trendy and things like that I actually don't like I'm quite indifferent to it like I don't hate it I don't love it I find it looks cool i don't think i would buy it because it's too expensive for me i don't know if it will stand a test of time and with louis vuitton i really want to pay attention to that but i really like the croissant like the colors that they bring out and i also like the heavy duty gold chain i think it looks really cute and now they brought out a croissant pm for 3500 us dollars and i feel like and this is gonna be a hit because First of all, I really adored the strap. It looks really cool. It looks so vintage. And they also changed the lettering from the multi pochette. Like uh, on the multi pochette, it's more like a like a cursive or like an italics. And this one is more like a bold font with all of the big lettering. So I really like it. It's very vintage and I really think it looks cool and it also fits the back really well. And then the back is in a beautiful, the back itself doesn't seem to be denim. It seems to be also like a really soft kind of calf leather. And then it has this big uh, over time oversized chain as all of the croissant bags have so i think that is really really cool a really cool looking bag for sure i think this is gonna be quite hyped i'm I, I don't know if like i'm predicting this right but i feel like this is gonna be a bag that maybe the influencers get gifted and are uh, promoting throughout like the launch so i think this is really cool then we also have a little like the new loop bag in the denim this is gonna retail for 2440 euros i actually don't know what to think of the loop bag i I'm like, I know it's like this 90s kind of like baguette under his shoulder kind of moment back, but I don't know about the shape because I, I'm not sure how much it will hold. I'm actually not the biggest fan of it, especially with the last collection they brought out. I didn't like the colors. I, I didn't think it would fit the bag um, that well. And I'm not exactly sure about the denim either. I think it's okay, but it's not really... I don't know, like not really 
my cup of tea to be honest i think this already looks like it's 30 years old um so yeah i don't really like it that much but we're gonna have some slgs as well so we're gonna have a sarah wallet for 865 dollars we're gonna have a zippy coin purse for uh we don't know how much this will retail but probably around like 600 dollars i'm guessing I, I actually really like the zippy coin purse i think it looks quite cute not too hard like to maintain and things like that. I feel like this is gonna be really hard wearing. Um, then we're also gonna have some shoes. So we're gonna have some sneakers in the pink and in the blue. We're gonna have some heels um, and some sandals. I think the sandals are gonna be really cool for the springtime. They all cost around $1,000 to $1,600. So I think it's quite okay, but um, we always have to keep in mind that it's all denim. So yeah, that is quite interesting. And then we're also gonna have some other SLGs, uh, not SLGs, some other accessories like headscarves, um, scrunchies and bucket hats and caps. So those are gonna be um, also part of this collection to kind of enable you to do what, like a matchy matchy mo moment, for example, having the matching headscarf and the little bag. I think that's really cute for the summer, especially because I feel like for the spring and summer time, um, a lot of people wear a lot of white and denim. And I think this would look so cute with a white dress and like a little LV denim scrunchie and the little bag. Oh my gosh, that would look so nice, but yeah. This is kind of all of the denim pieces that they brought out. And then I have two items that I got from a Foxy LV's video. One of them is also the Sippy Coin purse in the vernis leather with this bubblegum pink and blue. I'm not sure because actually I like the By the Pooh collection a lot with like the different colors and this kind of gradient pastel -y kind of pattern. I really liked it. But this one I'm not really sure because Vernie leather obviously it's quite shiny and it really looks like bubble gum. And I, I don't know if it will look childish. I feel like on this, like uh, judging from the picture, I feel like it looks quite childish. Um, so I don't think I would go for it. And it's probably really expensive. It's gonna probably gonna cost like uh, 600 euros or something like that. So $800. And then we also have the Sippy wallet. I don't know which kind of leather, but it looks like the grain leather. Um, and it's with this pattern. I feel like the pattern is quite boring. Um, I don't think it's really innovative. So in my opinion, to round up this really video really quickly, because I don't want it to be super long, but I feel like definitely go for the denim pieces. I feel like um, denim is an, a material that will definitely stand a test of time and that will definitely, yeah, just look good in years and years to come because you can always wear denim. I especially love the pink denim items, but I think that's quite subjective because I just love pink. And yeah, I think this would also work very very nicely with uh, just regular jeans and regular dem denim. So I think it's something different. Uh, but obviously this is more um, like to care of and a lot less, uh, like a lot more dainty than the blue denim. And I think the blue denim is definitely gonna be the star of this collection for almost everyone because blue denim, come on, you can't go wrong. So yeah, I really am intrigued to see the collection. I'm really excited for the pieces. I don't think I will pre-order some of them because like uh, items because I don't have that amount of money to like spend on each collection so um, I really need to think about the items that I purchased so I don't think I will be purchasing any but um, I'm really excited to see the videos of other creators so I hope you really like this review if you did please give it a thumbs up and comment down below and I will see you for my next video guys thanks for watching bye